Hello, friends. Hey, today we're going to talk about Proposition 5. You better believe it. So let me ask you, at least, what is Proposition 5? Proposition 5 is a constitutional amendment that lowers the voter approval threshold from two-thirds to 55%. Okay, so how would that change the current system? Well, currently, local bond measures need a supermajority vote of two-thirds per two-thirds percent to pass, and they're trying to lower that to 55 percent, which in a supermajority state like the like California would make it much easier for them to spend your money. So what happens if it passed? That's right. So why vote no on Prop 5? It would raise your taxes. They are trying to undermine Prop 13, so this is their way around it. So if this passed, your property taxes would definitely go up. It seems like almost Prop 13's on the ballot now every single time we vote. Last time was Prop 60, which passed, and that absolutely gutted a lot of the provisions in Prop 13 that were here to stay. So they took those out. Now they're coming with Prop 5. More assault against Prop 13, which has absolutely made it affordable to live in this state. That's right. So this would make it much easier for the local communities to raise your property taxes and spend the money. And do you know how much it costs to borrow money on a local bond? It costs $1.70 to $2 for every dollar borrowed on a local bond. So where does that money come from to repay that debt? Higher property taxes. Or <laughs> property taxes. So my next question would be... Uh, the makes sense to me is if home values have gone up, which they have over the last few years, it means the property tax base has gone up so that the local communities are making more money just based on the home values. So they should have more money in their property tax coffers than they've ever had before, yet they are trying again to gut Prop 13. So we highly, highly, highly recommend you vote no because it will raise your costs as a home owner and it will definitely raise your costs if you're a tenant. Because, you know, where the costs go, they just get rolled down to the tenant. If it costs the owner more money, it's going to cost you, the tenant, more money. So vote no on Prop 5. Yes, the, the language in there about the infrastructure projects are very loose. In fact, uh, let's say undefined. They always say affordable housing, but it's across the board. If they want to put a park in, that means they can raise your property taxes. If they want to do basically anything they want to do. In fact, you would see a lot of increased borrowing by cities that can now tax the property owners in their area to basically fund any project that they deem reliable or deem that necessary, deem that they can't live without. Right, and that the if it passed, which you know we hope it does not, but if it did, all these rules would apply to all the current measures that are on this ballot. So it goes into effect right away. So anything that costs you more money, we recommend you vote no. We have a full list of all the propositions. If you want our opinion, we are happy to share. But in this particular case that relates to home ownership, vote no on Prop 5. Looking out for the property owners here in the great state of California, GaryLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thank you.